That's the power of Jesus Christ. That's the power of Jesus Christ like a cloud going into people's rooms right now. That's the Lord healing people. That's the Lord healing people. Healing people. There's someone, you're, 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 you have shocking headaches affecting your sight as well with their migraines. Be healed. Be healed. Someone, you've got this chronic lower back pain. Be healed. The, the discs have deteriorated in, in the lower spine and uh, arthritis. I see your spine is deteriorated. And uh, shocking condition. And that's the power of God. That's the power of God going through your spine and healing, giving you new bone. New bone. You listen to that lady, how she felt the bone growing. You are receiving a new spine. All new, the pelvis as well. Be healed. It's done. Thank you, Lord. You come back and testify. Praise God. Praise God. Someone with deafness. Deafness. Both ears. Be healed. I, I rebuke that deafness in Jesus' name. I rebuke that deafness from you. Thank you, Lord. Power of God just going through you. If, if you are in pain, you have a problem somewhere, put your hand on it and let's believe together. The Lord will heal far more people than I'm calling out. Someone you have left ear, left ear pain. Uh, an infection in the left ear, that's the Lord healing you of that. Someone you've got uh, a lung condition, a lung disease, um, and the Lord is, uh, uh, I forget the name of it, but your, your lungs become hard with time and eventually, you know, the doctors, that's it. But God is healing your lungs right now. That's the power of God on your lungs and on YouTube as well, there's someone who in the future will be watching this and they're watching and the power of God is coming on your lungs and I see your lungs being healed and your heart being healed in Jesus' name. Now another person, you've got <clears throat> fluid on your lungs, be healed. I rebuke the fluid. That's the power of God going into people's rooms right now. Kidneys, be healed. Kidneys, be healed. Eyes, be healed. Arthritis in the hands, be healed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm seeing someone, you've got your children, you've got an autistic child. Put your hand on the child if you can. This is, uh, I see someone's got a boy, someone's got a girl. I'm looking at the children. But it's, we rebuke this autism. We rebuke this spirit, this darkness, this demon, anger. In Jesus' mighty name, we come against it right now. Power of God going forward. Power of God going forward. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Incontinence being healed. Bladder incontinence. Colon incontinence. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm looking at a person and you see no hope. It's like uh, I'm looking at what you see, so to speak. I'm looking at, at the way you see things. It's all barren. There's nothing. It's like a desert landscape. Nothing. No hope. Nothing. Thank you, Lord. And he will make rivers to flow in the desert. He will cause rivers to flow in the desert. He will cause the vegetation to flourish. He will make everything green for you. I prophesy it in Jesus' name. I rebuke hopelessness from you. And I declare that God has a good, secure and blessed future for you. I rebuke every spirit of depression off of you right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, the power of God is coming upon people right now, right in your rooms. Power of God's coming. You know, John the Baptist said that one is coming whose sandals I'm not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Lord Jesus, we pray your spirit to come upon the people right now. Come on, Sarah, you come and stand up here and let's believe together. Lord, we believe for your Holy Spirit to come upon the people right now. Fire, Spirit of God. The glory of God coming upon them right now in Jesus. Oh, praise. 
full. That's the power of God going through your hand. Do you feel that? Amen. You got to stand up. <laughs> Don't go away. Hallelujah. Power of God. <laughs> Whoa. Come and stand behind, behind Sarah, Michael. She's about to go. Just hold her up. We're praying for the people. Lord. Oh, that's the glory of God. Glory of God. Going into people right now. Feel it coming through Sarah's hand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Someone's been baptised in fire. Baptised in fire. There are people who are just here because they're hungry for God. Be baptised in fire. There are people here, you're so distant from God. You're just so aware of your sin, your sexual problems, all this sin in your life, your resentments, what you've done to other people. Now open your heart to Jesus and he will save you from your sins. Jesus Christ died on the cross to save us from our sins, to heal our bodies, to deliver us. Right now, open your heart. Receive Jesus Christ in. That's the presence of Jesus Christ taking up residence. We say, be forgiven. Be forgiven. Just confess your sins. Confess your sins. There's someone, you're in the meeting you just feel like vomiting. Just vomit it out. doesn't matter about the carpet. Just vomit it out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be delivered. Be forgiven. That's the anointing coming upon you. Be delivered. Be delivered. I see the evil spirits. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Come out. Come out. Just vomit it out. Vomit it out. Vomit it out. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord I will. 